You know, some guitar companies are like rabid raccoons that hide in your garbage box. You think it's safe to open the lid, and then you open the lid and... <laughs> Guitar Stuff with John! Welcome to another Guitar Stuff with John. In a hat. Love you guys. Um, this is going to be a cool review. Uh, I've been waiting for a while to do this one. Uh, not because... Not on purpose. It's just that there were so many guitars to go through the system that this one got came in quite a while ago and uh I've, I've been promising to show it to you so here it is before we go too much further down that road uh i have to say that the company that builds this guitar has been a partner with us since day one and they are uh they're an interesting company they're a they're sort of tastemakers like Roger Schmidt is. They are Americans, and they wanted to resurrect uh, an old name in guitar that was, uh, you know, forced out of existence decades ago. And they did so kind of quietly and have ever since then been building really nice guitars. And... They've also been dealing with a number of, uh, you know, sort of production I issues because they have the guitars built in Asia and uh, quality control over there it can be sketchy sometimes. And But through all of this growth process, they have continued to put out instruments that I can easily recommend to anybody who is looking for a really cool guitar for uh, a discount price, right? These guitars are not uh, nowhere as near the price of, you know, their counterparts. And uh, I like that. I like that I can show you something, hey, this is really cool, and it doesn't cost a million bucks. So, last year, last fall, Ashley Atts at Recording King Guitars told me uh, hang on to your seat belts. Put your seat belts on there. Hang on to your shorts because there's something coming out. And uh, I was curious, and I but and I had my suspicions of what it was, and indeed I was right. I was wondering when Recording King was going to delve into the higher echelons of the Martin Standard series. Like they've already built, you know, 18 copies, 28 copies, Taylor copies the original body style of the old Recording Kings from the catalogs. They've done all that. So I thought, when are they going to put out a 40 series guitar? Well, the wait's over. They have done it. This is the RD-342. So it's it's a based on an old, obviously, uh, the old design of the Martin D-42s. It's built out of solid rosewood, beautifully made. It has a very old style hard V neck. Um, it's and it's they're killer. I love this thing. It's a very, very good sounding guitar. Check this out. <laughs>
beautiful guitar. Like the, it's it's uh, it sounds really old. It sounds really old, and I'm, I'm, I have to disclose this, of course, knowing the problems with QC and Recording King has uh, they waited a while to find one that was that would pass muster and uh s so they sent me the one that did and uh now with that being said it doesn't mean that when you pick one of these up in the store they're going to be crap that's not that's not the case but there's good there is going to be times when you can pick one of these guitars up and it's not going to be this nice that's a fact uh, they're building a large number of these, and I have to say that this is the nicest recording king I've ever played. It really sounds good. It sounds... nice guitar it plays super easy and it's a bit it's a bit dry right now because it's dry here in Nova Scotia and uh, it needs to it needs a little humidification which it will get uh, as the season changes fully into spring it'll it'll, it'll soak up some water um, man it's a great guitar it's a great guitar and uh, they are uh, they know what they're doing. They've got this, uh, you know, this is an initial run of these instruments. And I'm pretty sure if you go and find one of these things that you will not be disappointed. Uh, they've made a big, big push and a big effort, and I have to give it to them, right, um, for making the push to get quality control a lot higher. And, and I think they've done that. I've seen a lot of people have been talking to me on the channel about going to find, you know, recording kings, that that unmistakable headstock they use, um, and coming away, you know, blown away by the price, by the quality. Um, so there you go. The D, the, uh, the, uh, the RD342, handcrafted, and they are. They're built by hand in a Chinese factory. Uh, just beautifully, beautifully done. Let's take a close look at it, and I'll show you uh, some of the reasons I love it, and some of the reasons I have to get used to it. Because there's some there's some vintage protocol on this guitar. They really went back and said we're going to do it this way, and I'm I'm a little on the fence about it. But it's something I can get used to. Let me show it to you. The Recording King RD three forty two. So here we are at the headstock of the new RD342 by Recording King. Uh, I love their, their, their... The design of this guitar, I think, is the best one that they've done. Uh, it's based, of course, on an old, on a vintage Martin D42. That's easy to see. Uh, they're using bone nuts and saddle. You get the snowflake inlay. Very nice uh, ebony fretboard. Love it. Nice abalone. All the way down. And I come to the top, you get this really nice spruce. I believe it's Sitka by the looks of it. Abalone all around the fretboard tail. And there's our sticker. The RD342 by Recording King Guitars Handcrafted. <laughs> Really cool looking tortoise shell pickguard, but that thing looks very, very vintage. And there, there's something about this that I really questioned the boys on, and it's this why would you cover up all that abalone with the pickguard? And there didn't seem to be a good answer for it. They 
the guys at the factory decided to do this, and I'm just not sure exactly why they did it. But it's really weird. Uh, but still, you know, if you didn't like it, you could always take this off and put it, move it so that the abalone is visible. And anyhow, it goes all the way around the body, of course, and it's, it's, it is very well done. It's very nice shell. Very nice. It shows up. There's a lot of green as well as blue. You've got the nice ebony bridge, bone saddle, the nice uh, micartus bridge pins. Those are not plastic. And then around the back, you get this beautiful rosewood, just incredible, with the trad, you know, that Martin zipper herringbone strip down the middle. And look at the grain in this. And this is a solid guitar. This is a really nice piece of wood. Sides are similar, very rich, very rich rosewood there. There you go. It's all bound in plastic, of course. It's not the faux mammoth. Uh, you can't see the grain in this stuff. This is just straight plastic. And it's a poly, it's a poly finish, of course. Very thin. It looks, sometimes it looks thick in places, but it's not. It, it, they do a pretty good job of this. I mean, it's fairly thick, but not grossly thick. And there's this really, look at this, how sharp the V is in this neck. Look at that. Look at that. It's so sharp it has a spine in it coming from the from the volute. And then of course we've got the nice Waverly style tuners that all work flawlessly. They're very, very good pieces of hardware. But just look at that neck. I'm telling you, when I first played this, because that's a one and three quarter inch nut, it was a little startling to have that much angle, that much bite in the back of the neck but when you're actually playing melody and picking man oh man does it ever i don't know it just transcends your your abilities somehow and uh shout out to stella i guess <laughs> anyhow yeah so there you go there is the uh the rd 342 by my buddies ashley and his brother the atz brothers at recording king guitars um and these things, man, I just, I love these guitars. They're, when they, when they get this stuff right, man, they get it right 100%. And this thing has been sitting in the studio for quite a few months now. It got dried out a little, but it shows no sign of damage from being dry. It's just a little, uh, the action's a tad low, and I'm sure it'll take on uh, some moisture as the springtime erupts here in Nova Scotia. And, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. You're not going to be able to find anything with this, quite this amount of, of you know, well-done detail uh, for the price that they're asking for this instrument. Uh, look them up online. The price will vary, I'm sure, by, by where you buy it from. Um, you know, you can get deals on these. So there you go. There's the Recording King, RD-342. I've been waiting for this one, boys, and here it is. Well done. So there we have it. There's the close-up of the RD-342 by Recording King. one thing i love about this guitar the neck is so fast so fast uh it's one of those guitars the the notes jump up under your hand by themselves <laughs> just one of those guitars and I think even after talking about the profile of this neck one of the reasons it's so fast is that profile because when you when you stop playing chords and you start playing lead man that hard hard V just makes the angle of the left hand so perfect and uh, but it's a, it is difficult to get your head around it at first 
you're just playing straight chords and having to get your whole hand around the uh, around the neck. But like I said, it's an old design, and they've decided, you know, we're going to go the old way. And that's one of the things I love about Recording King. They're not afraid to. They're not afraid to put forth as something new, something old, and that's that's what makes guitar building so much fun and and, and being a guitar player uh, so much fun. There's a ton of diversity in the guitar world right now, where people are not only you know thriving to, or striving rather to, um, you know, to design something new and fresh, but there's a a, pe a group of people, builders out there. And and the Atz brothers are, are 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 a pair of them that are saying, you know, there's not enough of this this old component in guitars, modern guitars now. Let's have guitars with this. I love that. And there's there's a lot of other builders doing the same thing. And some of the bench builders we talk about, you know, Gallagher, Boucher, Crackett. These guys are building guitars with a lot of history in mind, right? As as does Recording King. These guitars are, they feel vintage, they look vintage, and this one sounds just incredible. What a beautiful sound of Dreadnought. And mind you, these are the dead bench strings too. When I put some good, you know, elixirs or, or a Diderio XS on this, it's going to sing. Uh, so there you go. There's the RD342 by Recording King. It is a obviously a copy of a Martin 42, an old one. Uh, just beautifully well done, guys. Fantastic. The retail on these, I'm not sure of, but you can look them up online. I'm sure, I'm, I, and going by what the other models are priced at, I think you're going to get a pleasant surprise uh, as to how much, how little you're going to have to pay to get a guitar that feels this vintage and this cool. So there you go. Another knocker out of the park by Recording King. Well done, boys. You, uh, you haven't disappointed me now for a while. I'm proud of you. And uh, they, they do try hard. They're good people. Ashley and his brother, they really have a lot going on. You know, they're, they're not just uh, doing it for fun or for money or for whatever. They really want this to be uh, an experience for guitar players to have. And it is. It's a it's a great experience to see the these old designs done in modern terms. So there you go, boys. Recording King, RD342. Check it out. If you can find one, go play it. I'm sure that you'll love it. And if you don't, try another one. You can look through a bunch. You'll find the one that's, that's kicking ass, and I, I guarantee it, because this one does. <laughs> Smokes.